Working for you in high definition, this is Channel 4 News. With bathing suit season right around the corner, all of us are trying to watch what we eat a little more closely. And today we're getting some tips on how to hold ourselves accountable from Steve Siebold, author of the book, Die Fat or Get Tough. Steve, welcome to the show. Thanks, Casey. All right, as the, the name of your book says, you know, you take a really tough love approach to obesity. So talk about your stance. Why, why do you have this approach? Well, the obesity epidemic is out of control. I mean, especially in America, we're getting fatter every year. What we're doing by coddling people and saying uh, fat is okay and fat is acceptable and you're big boned or you're getting older is not working. Right. And you know, you even go as far as saying 99% compliance of a failure on a diet is, is I mean, it's just not going to work. So why do you, why are you so tough about that? Because you're, you're either on a diet or you're not. It's like being on a budget. 99% on a budget doesn't work. You have to stick to the budget or not stick to the budget. And in diets especially, you have to stick because they're, they're formulas. They're scientific formulas. Mm -hmm. And if you don't stick to them, you're going to gain weight. Right. And the people, reason we can listen to you is because you've actually been there. You've battled with your own weight at one time. You used to be a professional athlete. Tell us about that. Right. I gained about four. I was a professional tennis player in the 1980s, and I gained about 40 pounds in the 1990s. I travel all over the world giving speeches. And so that was my excuse. And I'm in airports and eating bad and hotel rooms and all that kind of room service food and all that. I gained 40 pounds, went to a friend's wedding, and some people hadn't seen me in a while came up to me and said, oh, Oh, hey, Steve. And I, I was so embarrassed. It was a total vanity play. I, so I lost the weight. Exactly. So how did you go about losing the weight? I just went to my doctor, said, put me on a good diet. He did. I got on an exercise program. Twelve weeks later, I lost 40 pounds, and that was the end of it. Wow. Now, another thing you say is that fat people eat for pleasure, while fit people eat for health. Talk about that and the different trains of thoughts there. Yeah, we interviewed for the book 500 fat people and 500 fit people. And I went to breakfast, lunch, and dinner with these people. And the, the fat people would say, well, I'll take the pizza or whatever they felt like eating, which is what... I've done most of my life as well, so I got that. Right. And the fit people said, I'll take the salmon and the Bernays sauce on the side maybe or a salad. Or, and they were really, they ate more for, strategically for health than just to, to satisfy a craving. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, another thing you say is fat people are delusional about being fat while fit people actually operate from objective reality. So can you explain the differences in those trains of thought as well? Yeah, exactly. I think we're, we're in, especially in America, because it's not like this really anywhere else in the world that I've traveled at least, where, where we coddle people so much. People say, well, do I look fat in this? And the person's 100 pounds off. Wait, you look fat in everything. I mean, <laughs> and that's not to be mean to people. It's just objective reality. It is what it is. Right. Fat is all bad. It, it, it's not, there's nothing good about fat, and we shouldn't accept it. Exactly. Now, what else can we we learn in your book? Well, I think just the, to think like a fit person. That's what the, really what the book is about, Casey. It's about thinking like the fit and healthy. We're not taught to do this in school. I couldn't believe as I was writing the book how much, like, and I was interviewing these, all these fit people, how much I, f I thought and behaved like a fat person, even though I was a professional athlete for, you know, for years. Right. So you can really learn how they fit, how they think, and then, and then start thinking like they think, and you'll get what they get. Right. Now, what kind of feedback have you gotten from the book so far? Have you gotten any negative feedback? Because you're pretty, pretty honest, pretty blunt. I, after I did the Today Show in New York, I had three death threats. <laughs> uh, they gave me security in Europe, for the B, in the BBC, and in Australia. Um, all over the world, I've, I've gotten a lot of rough feedback because people don't want to deal with the truth, but the coddling is not working. Right. You're really just shooting it straight and getting down to the bottom of it. It and is what it is. As your title says, die fat or get tough, it really is the, the end result, right? It really is. I mean, you're either going to die fat, you're going to die of a heart attack, you're going to die of cancer. I mean, obesity leads to so many diseases that doctors don't even want to talk about because it just scares people. It scares people half to death, pardon the pun, but that's really what it is. Yeah, we were talking earlier, it's like an epidemic. It, it is it, an epidemic. No, it is an epidemic, and it's getting worse. This is not getting better. I've debated doctors on TV all over the world on this, and they keep saying, well, it's okay. There's, any, there's even a national association in this country for the acceptance of fat people mm. and that's that's just un-american and it's unhealthy and it's too bad right and quickly have you seen being in other countries i know you've toured other places have you noticed difference between there and america oh definitely i was in amsterdam recently and, and they all ride bicycles they're exercising you can't find a fat person i, I, I filmed a, a little piece in dom square the, not long ago and you couldn't find we couldn't find a fat person to, to film they're there it's different here we're, we're really hurting ourselves right. well, a lot of shedding light on some good information there thank you so much Steve. Thanks for having me. Hey, again, Die Fat or Get Tough is available now. You can learn more by logging on to diefatbook.com.